y'all. So over the last three years, I have watched The Simpsons, Frank Coin episode, season 31, episode 13, at least 500 times. I have come up with 30 to 50 cryptocurrencies that I've sort of deciphered from this episode alone. I'm going to share those with you over the next few weeks. We're going to do one to two at a time for each video because it takes a lot of concentration and breakdown. Everything's all subliminal. Yes, 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 baby, this is a rabbit hole. But take this journey with me. I promise you it'll be a good time. And at the end of it, at least, it's something to speculate on. Here we go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Urban Fintech at the G-Spot Studios channel, where we try to make finance and technology sexy. I'm your girl, G, and today we are talking about Cardano and the Cosmos ecosystem. Before we jump into it, I'm just going to start off with the, the Simpsons video right away. Um, I'll cue you up for this this portion. Again, this 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 episode on Frank Coin, season 31, episode 13 is every bit of about 10 minutes wet. And so there is a lot that is packed into this, but very short snippets of it. And so you have to take what you can. And so again, rabbit hole energy, baby. All right. So setting up this scene, this is where Mr. Burns, who uh, owns the nuclear uh, company, is finding out that he is no longer the richest man in Springfield. He is upset being a hater about it, jealous, envious, all of that. And so he's talking to his assistant, Waylon, and Waylon is informing him that Professor Frank is now the richest man. He is upset about it. And one of the things that he does is kind of goes off on Waylon because Waylon calls him by his first name, which is hilarious because you have to look at his eyes when he's talking. It's a cartoon. It's like crazy. But um, he also makes Waylon test his food before he eats it. I'm assuming so that he doesn't get poisoned or what have you. And so it just so happens the food that he has Waylon taste is lobster, um, what is it? Lobster primador? Primador. I'll have to look it up. Um, but uh, Waylon tastes it and Waylon clearly has a shellfish fish allergy. And so he immediately begins to swell up. But the idea is the lobster. That is what we're looking at here. We're looking at the lobster and how this is related to Cardano. We'll also see um, some pieces of Adam, which I think is much more transparent. You'll see it um, kind of in the background when uh, when Mr. Burns is talking to Waylon about the lobster. Now, again, this is Cardano. We're looking for, we're looking at the lobster. Goes down. That's why I started. Actually, cryptocurrency. Oh, I know about cryptocurrency. I have it in my crypt. No, this new currency has made Professor Frank the richest man in Springfield. Wait, are you saying I? Because you chew my food makes you think we're on a first name basis? Of course not, sir. I'll never do that again. So right there, right there is where you see, um, and there's other videos on YouTube that might have a better uh, flow with this section of the 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 show, I guess you should say. But um, it is lobster. First name basis? Of course not, sir. I'll never do that again. <coughs> And so, as you see here, Waylon <laughs> has the energy. His face is fat, baby. And he tasted this lobster. So, what does this lobster have to do with anything? Well, if you follow Charles Hoskinson on, um, on YouTube ever, then you'll see that all of his videos have this lobster in it. There's a lobster. There's a lobster down there where he's talking. Look at there, another lobster. Lobster again three weeks ago. Lobster. And so what is the significance of this lobster? Very, very weird, right? And so we go here and we see the lobster coin. King Logan has 
invented a way to reduce the amount of trash within the Cardano ecosystem. This mechanism allows you to recycle your shit and reduce the shitcoin population. So interesting. Um, here it is right here. This is their home. This is the lobster.io. All right. Only available on the free market. Lob Smith. CNFTs has retired. Find his work on jpg.store. So interesting. Royal pools staking. So it makes me wonder if this is Royal Lottery. Okay. So we did see the lottery thing um, when um, Professor Frank explained, crypto explained cryptocurrency to Lisa. And uh, you saw um, Jim Parsons pulling a lottery switch. Race cars, toss your hosty here out of service. What does this out of service stuff mean? Interesting. So let me just see if this site is live. How to. This is a guide on how to buy lobster. The steps explained here are the same for buying any asset on Cardano, NFT, or token. Interesting. We will assume that you know how to buy ADA from exchange like Binance or Coinbase. Transfer, draw the ADA from exchange, and actually put down a wallet. Okay. So I guess it's telling you how you can actually buy lobster. And now this is not financial advice by any means. I would definitely check this site out some more and what they're doing with the Cardano, like what their relationship is to the Cardano ecosystem. Um, but it is quite interesting that they are here. Um, and they're they're actually a part of the Cardano ecosystem. Um, so that is that lobster portion. Now, I want to just quickly um, look at Cardano's. So it's all about making the world a better place. And that is what lobster also talked about. Um, so really doing some great stuff. Um, I like the way uh, their website looks. World changing, change it together. I love that message. Charles Hoskinson is a very active uh, person around his ecosystem. Um, proof of stake, evidence-based development, secure, scalable, and sustainable. Um, so nice, very nice, very clean website. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's take a look at Cardano on Coin Market Cap. So it is number eight on coin market cap so top 10 baby and on the day it is down just 0.19 percent so really probably trading sideways uh on the seven day up five almost six percent on the month down almost 15 percent on the year it's actually up 55 percent so that's not bad and then all time it's up two thousand almost 2,500%. So that actually looks pretty damn good. And again, the bull run from the 2020 to 21-ish, let's see. And yeah, it started going down by 22. Um, that's where it had its spike. And so I expect it to go back. Let's see, it got up to almost three bucks. Um, so I expect it to get back to this point. Again, in the very near future, right now it's currently trading at 54 cents. All right, so circulating supply, 35, what is that, billion? I'm always terrible with numbers. And total supply, 36 billion. Max supply, 45 billion. All right, so getting up there, almost maxed out with the coin. Um, so very, very interesting. Now let's go back and take a look at this clip of The Simpsons and um, tie this into the atom or cosmos ecosystem. So first of all, you see back here, just right over Burn's shoulder, is this cosmos kind of ticker symbol that they have. So if you've ever looked at, so when you look at the cosmos ticker symbol, it is right here. 
it looks identical to the one in the Simpsons video as well. So I find that quite interesting. So there's the symbol. And then going back to coin market cap, we see that symbol right there. So going a little bit further into the video where they are at Moe's place. Let's see if we can find it here. Um, in the background, you'll see Adam. Hey, Professor. Boy, I can't wait to sit in the sky box. I need so you see here, isotopes. You see the little ticker logo for the Adam coin on their jerseys. And then you'll see back here, Adam. And underneath there, it says isotopes. But that's a whole nother episode that we're going to do on some ISO 222 tokens. Um, but Adam is right there. And now, granted, in other episodes of The Simpsons at the bar, you'll see this Adam in the background. But there are episodes in which this weren't, this wasn't there. But there was a time when they didn't have this in the background. Um, but it is there. It just so happens to be right now on this cryptocurrency episode. And so I think there is something to that for sure. Need to have a cyst removed. Now's as good a time as any. Yeah, and I gotta be there to say, uh, do not resuscitate. And let's go ahead and just take a look at their ecosystem as well. I do hold Cosmos, Adam, Token, as well as Cardano. Uh, build on their inner chain. Very nice. In class, open source libraries and services. So, so they are consider themselves the internet of blockchain interchain, interchain uh, ecosystems. So the heart of the interchain, serving as the economic center of the interchain, the Cosmos Hub is a blockchain that provides vital ecosystem services. All right. So really secured by Adam. Join the interchain, swap tokens, collectibles, more secure account for all your digital assets. The most trusted way to build value. All right, so 99% low carbon footprint, low fees, just at 0 0.01 and seven seconds transaction time. That is very nice. Dive deep into the Cosmos SDK. Your project deserves its own blockchain. What will you build? So they have decentralized finance applications, resilient autonomous organizations, game economies owned by the players. I think this is going to be huge in the future of web free and gaming. Um, they're giving out grants for you to build. So hello, get that sh money, baby. And they also teach you how to build. So that is really nice. You can join Entertain. Very clean website. I really like it enter the cosmos. I think there's so much that they're growing um, that it, it can only become better and more, you know, robust and rich in the future. Um, so I do like cosmos. I um, have been an investor from day one in their ecosystem. Um, but looking at them overall, they are trading at ten dollars and thirty-one cents on Coin Market Cap currently. So that's up one percent on the day. And let's look at the seven day, up six percent. So it seems to be doing a little better than Cardano, um, but down nine percent on the month. On the year, down seventeen percent. Okay, I spoke too soon, so maybe not so much as Cardano. Um, all, what is this, all, on the, all time, 60%. All right. So they have, uh, for me, ways to grow because they haven't even reached like their, their pinnacle. They haven't even reached their peak. Um, but their prices were doing good in the last bull market. Got up to just about 40, 40 something bucks, 42, just short of 43 bucks. So circulating, it's number 22. Um, so top 50 of coins, um, circulating supply, 382 million. 
total supply is 382 million. <laughs> so are we, we fully bought out total supply? Have we fully bought out the atom token? So now it's just going to shoot up from here because it's all out there on the market. Fully diluted market cap. Um, okay, interesting. Interesting. Max supply. Infinity. Is that an infinity sign? Interesting. So we'll have to look into this and maybe do another episode so that we can deep dive into that. But it was a Simpsons episode where there was a news anchor doing a report. And at the bottom of the screen, the stock market was rolling by. We saw Bitcoin on there, which makes sense because it now has established its ETF and its trading on the um, public exchange um, market, stock market. But next to it, it had an infinity sign. And so people thought it kind of referred to Bitcoin just kind of going to infinity. But it makes you wonder if there's going to be some like correlation between cryptocurrencies where they're kind of like merged together or partnered or something to that effect. So, yeah, interesting. But that's just my thoughts. Just my thoughts, people. So that is what I have for you today. Really quick, really simple. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.